Yeah, they were not happy. At least one parent drove by in his truck. He screamed out at me and my photographer here. He said, you know, we should have heard from the schools before we heard from you. Another parent told me he was just stunned that they did not get a call about this. Now, we're, we're talking about here, Cleves Police telling us this threat was reported by other students who overheard the 13-year-old boy in a public place. The chief would not elaborate on specifics, but says a weapon was not found. Now, in juvenile court this morning, we learned the threats involved bringing his father's rifle on the bus or to school. The 13-year-old is described as on the lacrosse team and on honor roll. Police say the threat involved the school and a future date. Now, the chief says the students who heard it told their parents who called the principal. The principal then called police. Now, police then arrested that boy. Three River Schools put alerts online last night, but no calls, making some parents mad. Now, a school spokeswoman says they did not call because there was no immediate danger, but parents who just found out this morning say, well, they're shocked. You know, your kids are it. I mean, I got another, I got a grandson that goes here too. So, you know, I got two grandkids that goes to school here. And if something happens, you know, you want to know what's going on. I cannot stress enough that we will use that all call system if any child is in any type of potential danger. Now, the Khalif's police chief says that those kids who reported this did absolutely the right thing. In the meantime, that 13 year old boy is on emergency leave from the school for at least three days. Schools here trying to determine, administrators here trying to determine if he can even return. They're taking a close look at their policy there. And he's expected to be back in court in about a week or so, charged there with inducing panic, as we mentioned. For now, we're live here in Cleves. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.